Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. Today we're going to look at the Faxen Gunner Muzzle Brake and the Fab Defense GL Mag. So if you're new to the channel, here at Gear Report we do a few things. It's all outdoor based. So we got the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. If you like surplus Humvees and custom modifications and off-road vehicles, stick around. We got a lot of content already out and coming on that. We got a ton of real firearms. Uh, we have rifles, we have pistols, we have silencers, we got all the fun stuff, all different types of ammo. We do shooting and hunting. Uh, we do camping, backpacking. We also got some air guns. So before we dive in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go like us on Facebook. You'll be glad you did, I promise. So gearheads, one of the things that I really like that kind of drives the people around me nuts sometimes, is I like shooting rifles with a muzzle brake. Even something like a 223 that has pretty low recoil to begin with, if I'm shooting from a bench, for example, where I want to be able to get back on target and put more rounds downrange quickly, or maybe I'm out hunting and I want to be able to get back on target more quickly, there a muzzle brake can be really useful, uh, especially for people who are kind of new to shooting. I know when I started shooting some of the bigger bore rifles, I had a real flinch reflex. I was kind of scared of that recoil. Muzzle brakes really helped cut that down and gave me time to get better acclimated uh, to shooting those rifles that had a little bit more kick. So I find them useful for a variety of reasons, but something that can be a pain in the butt is installing them because you got to have a crush washer, you got to have you know the barrel wrench, you really need a vice block and um, a vice to hold it still so you can torque it down to the right uh, torque. All of those things, doing that in the field can be kind of difficult. So what Faxon did, they went back to the drawing board and they invented something they call Muzzlock. Muzzlock is a system where there is a, an adjustment collar that's internally threaded. The muzzle device itself is externally threaded. So Basically, you screw this on and have it about 30 degrees off from where you want it. Tighten the um, adjustment collar so that it is up against the shoulder here on the end of the barrel. Then you put your wrench on it and turn it until it's timed properly. I tend to use this adjustable wrench. Smart people use torque wrenches and they torque to the appropriate amount. Here's what I'll do. I'll put a link to the product at Faxon in the description of this video. You can click that link and in that description on the Faxon website, they tell you exactly what torque to torque this to. But as you get it torqued around to the point that it's timed properly, and, and time properly means on this one, because it's got three ports, when you look through, it's straight across. It's not canted one direction or the other. When it's timed properly, then you're done. So that can be a real challenge if you have, uh, if you have a crush washer in there, getting the torque right while it's timed appropriately, that can be a little tricky. This is just a little easier, more convenient method. Um, this muzzle brake, again, it's a, a three-port muzzle brake. This is for a 223 caliber rifle, so typically it's going to be an AR, or I suppose you could put it on a 22 caliber rifle if it's got the half by 28 uh, muzzle threading, which is what, what this comes in. The external coating finish on this is a QPQ. All right, that's a salt bath nitride, which is going to give you pretty good corrosion protection, which is a good thing because you get a lot of hot, nasty, burning gunpowder gases on this that can cause some corrosion problems. Uh, so that is, again, this is called the Gunner. You'll find it at faxandfirearms.com, and there's a link in the description for that. At the other end of the rifle, let me slide this up. I'm going to move the uh, Coltac shooting bags up a little. Set this up here on the, uh, this is the high score. Uh, it's a pivoting handgun rest. I, I have a rifle sitting on it right now, so bear with me there. Uh, at the back end here, we have from Fab Defense, this is called the GL Mag buttstock. And it's a mag is in the name of the buttstock because it has a 10 round magazine in it. And I've used this quite a bit when bench rest shooting because sometimes a full 30 round magazine interferes with the rest that I'm using or the table. So a 10 round mag can be very useful 
and I've had no feed issues or reliability issues with this. But the neat thing is if you have a couple of these, you can use one for shooting and you store an extra one back here. The, the buttstock itself has a nice rubber pad on the back, which I really like. The adjustment mechanism is, um, it's kind of a snag-free design, something I hate about a lot of the adjustable six position AR butt stocks is the adjuster kind of hangs down where it can snag on something. This, uh, it's very contoured and uh, you're less likely to hit something with it. It's got these little uh, tabs on either side that the purpose is to pinch this little rail on the bottom of the buffer tube and keep it from rattling around too much. I like that as well. We have a quick disconnect fitting here and on the other side. So uh, to the extent that this can be ambidextrous, it's pretty close. You only have a mag release on the left. I've used it a fair amount. I like it. It's pretty comfortable up against the shoulder. It's got enough padding, but still enough traction that it works pretty well for me. So I, I've really enjoyed this. The GL Mag buttstock from Fab Defense. The Gunner with Muslock from Fax and Firearms. Let me know what questions you have about either one of these, about the rifle in general. By the way, this is running the superlative arms, uh, and you can't see it because we've got the mag block in the way here, but the, um, this is a piston-operated AR-15, so this isn't, is not a direct impingement AR anymore. This is a retrofit kit from superlative arms. I can put that in the description as well, and you can go find, we've got a review on that uh, here on Gear Report as well. So that's it for now. Let me know what questions you have. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. You know, take care of us in social media, and we'll take care of you by continuing to bring uh, really good, high-quality reviews that you can trust. We're going to help you figure out what's worth spending your money on and what you probably shouldn't. Check them out. Facts and Firearms, Fab Defense. We'll see you at the range.